you know, it's very rare to have all four, like, you know, Oxy's Oxy, but four of us not to shoot our guns, you know. The most I can say is that we start off slow and they start off really hot. Uh, I think they converted a lot. They want most, like, three out of the four pistols. Um, we weren't trading. We just wanted to shoot our guns. Hey guys, this is Pedro back with another interview covering VCT America Stage 1. This time I'm accompanied by Zeppa one more time of Cloud9, who are just coming off of a 2 0 loss, 200 Thieves in Super Week. So, Zeppa, thank you so much for taking the time during this interview one more time. Really appreciate it. And yep, uh, losing 200 Thieves first loss in the regular season of Stage 1. I mean, how are you taking in this th this result? Um, I mean, taking it as good as you can, you know, after losing. Um, obviously everyone knows from our side that we played really bad. They played really good. Um, nothing we can do except go back and watch, uh, you know, what went wrong and kind of study what we can do and, and how to move on and play better. And then I'm going to have to follow up with the obligatory question, you know, as I usually do, um, what went wrong? Um, I think we just came out flat, came out slow. Um, you know, it's very rare to have all four, like, you know, Oxy's Oxy. But four of us not to shoot our guns, you know. Um, I mean, the most I can say is that we start off slow and they start off really hot, you know. Um, I, I don't think we won any of our bonus rounds. Uh, I think they converted a lot. They won most, like, three out of the four pistols. Um, we weren't trading. We just wanted to shoot our guns. We are just not. Today was not the day for us. Yeah, unfortunately, that was the case, you know, for you guys. And, and for, you know, there, there's plenty of, of anticipation looking at this uh uh, encounter given the fact that you guys were undefeated coming into it and then 100 Thieves was kind of resurging um, uh, up until this point and for it to kind of go like to for it to kind of go down like this you know 2-0 uh, unfortunate loss did you kind of expect it for it to kind of go down this way and also do you kind of uh, were surprised by how you know the team did not play well uh, today um I mean of course I mean we're surprised, obviously. You know, no no team wants to lose all two, and especially in the fashion we did. Um, obviously, going, coming into the game, we thought we were going to win, you know? Just every team, we're, we're confident, and we have to stay confident, anybody who competes. And, uh, I mean, obviously, I'll, we're surprised. We, who knows? Like, we couldn't believe how bad we played. Um, I mean, but it's a good thing that, you know, it happened early in the stage, and, um, you know, hopefully we, call, we qualify the playoffs, and things won't repeat like that. Uh, but it's a good, good learning experience. Um, knowing, you know, how bad we can play. And it's like, wow, you know, we have to get better. We can't play like that. And if we play like that, we're probably going to lose our next two matches and not qualify the playoffs. So we, it's a definitely a good learning experience as a team and as for me. Yeah, of course, you know, uh, the important thing is just to bounce back and just make sure this kind of thing doesn't happen again uh, uh, so far later on in this season. And yeah, uh, now going over to just uh, pr prior to the series, and of course, you know, Getting into this uh, undefeated, just going off of a 3-0, doing very well compared to how it was back in kickoff. I mean, it's yeah. a massive improvement for this Cloud9 team for just to go on this run, uh, 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 despite uh, initial struggles. And sort of just talk to me about how uh, the team took on this different form, you know, with this inclusion of Mouse, of Mo Mouse, Moose, and Rooney yeah. uh, compared to how it was back in in kickoff. You know what? What kind of sparked the kind of difference in form? Um, I think the biggest difference is that we we have uh, more focal people or players. Um, I think that's the biggest difference and and why we shifted this. And obviously, we're coming we in. He was the Azure from last season, but um, I think his role obviously he he was an IGO, so he has a voice, you know. And since Vanny's the main IGO, I think I'm probably like the second most talkative person. Um. And we have we're and then three and four, um, Rooney and, and Moose. And Rooney's the third voice. Probably, and everybody talks basically. And it's good that everybody talks. And um, as you can see, the first three games that everybody can also shoot their guns. Unfortunately, this week, you know, it was tough. Uh, nobody shot their guns. And uh, at the end of the day, it, it definitely showed. And it's something we do have to improve on. And uh, I would say it's unfortunate too that uh, mm -hmm. how Super Week went. For us, uh, I think, well, 100 Thieves didn't play. I think we played, like, in total, like, five, six maps before 100 Thieves even played, like, their second BO3, you know, our third BO3, and they, they took a lot from us. Um, they got to see more maps, and 
and how we play and things like that. So it's unlucky, but we move on. Yeah, for sure. And yeah, like uh, it, it, it's a difficult way to kind of look at how the team have played, you know, this week, you know, in, in stage one, you know, because before this, you were coming off of a loud win. And how do you kind of look at the, 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 the team's result, you know, 1-1 uh, Super Week in general? Um, I mean, we we expect everybody to, you know, everybody's a tier one. Everyone's franchising, you know. Everybody, to a certain extent, deserves to be here, and, and nothing is a free win. 1-1, 0-2, 0-3, 0-4, at the end of the day, we need to win every single map, every single game. Um, Our group is, you know, hard, and I'm, we're expecting that everybody's going to be like 5-1 and one in this group. So we definitely need to win every single game. Um, Besides that, yeah. Yeah, for sure. And, yeah, like... uh. Moving on from this, of course, you know, looking at the road ahead, you know, uh, uh, one would say, you know, you got an easy schedule, but, you know, of course, no one knows what's going to happen on the day, as we've seen today uh, <laughs> in this in this match. But still, um, FURIA, MIBR, uh, on paper, you know, teams that you yep. could, guys could probably take down. But still, how are you guys going to just recover from this uh, result to uh, against 100 Thieves and just uh, move forward against furia and then mibr um i mean no super week so we'll have like a week basically to prepare again um we, ha we have to we'll probably take this next day off and go back in the lab and you know and and practice how we practice and you know improve watch the the vods on 100 thieves and see what we can do to improve and and move on to the next one you know at the end of the day it's a match by match and we're trying to qualify to shanghai not now win every single game as long as we make playoffs and win that we'll be good you know, going a little bit back into what you said earlier on in this conversation, you know, taking that second main caller position as ish kind of thing. How has that kind of uh, developed for you, you know, uh, with this new iteration of Cloud9 being more vocal, being more communicative and also being more aggressive? Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, it's definitely a role I probably haven't done as much like from the last iteration but i did do i did do for sure um i would say last season we'll have like uh rooney was mangio and like jordan zelsis and then me and leaf were probably like the third one you know like but um i mean it's nothing new uh, i've definitely done it before um at the end of the day we do have everybody else who who chimes in and doesn't make uh vanity's job hard or any harder you know doesn't make my job as long as everybody speaks and everybody's comfortable and you know I, it's good yeah, uh, I asked uh, a similar question I'm going to tell you right now uh, to Rooney in uh, an interview I did with him following that loud uh, victory of how, you know, this team is kind of reminiscent to last year's team, you know, in the sense that, you know, uh, not not many expectations, roster switch early in the season, and then doing well in the regular season, and then, you know, playoffs and then and not doing well. We'll see what happens if, should you guys make it to that point uh, later on this this year, but still... Um, did you kind of see any similar? Have you been seeing like this sim these similarities from uh, that last year's squad to this year's squad? Um, player by player, it's it's like kind of like a whole different roster, you know, uh, a whole different way we practice and how we play and how we want to do things for sure. But I mean, hopefully history repeats itself to a certain extent. We have uh, we, we qualify playoffs, and this time we actually win and qualify and not lose out. But uh, I don't know. I think were we did we win the first three games last season, or did we win the first two and lost the loud third week? I uh, can't really say. Uh, have well, Hopefully. we. I don't know because I'm mostly focused on, on this year. But yeah. still, you know, we we, we know we know I'm the saying. story. We know the story. We know the yeah. story about Hopefully what happened. Hopefully, playoffs and we qualify and we qualify for the event. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. And yeah, um, that said, future ahead. You know, uh, you guys being in a comfortable position. Uh, mm -hmm. to make it to playoffs, you know, who knows what, what's, what's going to happen, you know, from this point on, but still, uh, yeah. still comparing a little bit from that 2022 squad, you know, and how you guys then did in playoffs. Um, what do you think the team kind of has to avoid, you know, in, in order to not face that same circumstance this year? Um, I mean, the biggest thing for most teams is I think we just have to stay confident. You know, after a loss or after each win, it doesn't matter. Just be the same people we were before coming in the match and, and be ready. And not, you know, not fall through during the match or just be confident. That's all I can say. For sure, for sure. 
And yeah, uh, one more question. Uh, more so, as you said, confidence. What's the team's yeah. confidence level like right now? You know, of course, uh, I say this, you know, two guys just losing to 100 teams, but uh, yeah. confidence level for the road ahead and just taking on opponent, your, your I mean, next opponents and stuff like that. Confidence is always through the roof, you know. After, of course, after each loss, you know, it may take a toll, but it's like, come to realize, like, guys, you know, we know who we are. We know what we can do. We play how we practice. Ain't nobody beating us, you know. And confidence is always there from from every single one of us. And no, we all think we're better than everybody. So that that's the main thing, and we can't lose that. Yeah, of course, and hopefully you guys are able to rewrite that history from last year. Just create a new Not one completely. for this year. Oh, go ahead. Not completely. Not completely. Uh, you know. Yeah, this time we can't repeat the the playoffs, but yeah, yeah, of course, of course, yeah. As that's what I'm trying to say, you know, just make sure I, I don't try to bring any bad energy to you guys. And yeah, uh, that's it. I'm gonna wrap it up right here. Zeppo, thank you so much for taking the time doing doing this interview one more time, and really appreciate it. And best of luck goes to you for the road ahead. Thank you, thank you.